Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to be my March 2021 uh, book haul and book unhaul. I both hauled and unhauled very few books this month, so I thought I'd just combine these videos. And I'll go through the unhaul first, just because it's only one book. So the book that I'm going to be getting rid of this month is Trumpet by Jackie Kay. Now I read it, well, I DNF'd it over March, so um, watch my March wrap up to see my full th thoughts on this. It really felt like a cis author writing a trans book for a cis audience and I think that some of the representation here could be seen as very harmful and if this had come out when we already had thousands upon thousands of good examples of trans representation I think I wouldn't have been bothered by this but I think the fact that if people, if this was the only book about trans people that someone had read, then I think that people could get the wrong idea. So this is going to be leaving my place. And then I was really good this month. I only bought or only acquired four books. So I'll just go through them with you now. So these two you would have seen if you watched my uh, Gaze the Word unboxing. So I bought this because of the fact that one, that cover is stunning. And two, I have Juno Dawson's other book, This Book is Gay, and I really, really loved it. So I think this one is going to be just as good. Can't wait to read it. And then I bought what's called a surprise book, where you give specifications about what you're in the mood for, what you fancy reading, and they pick out a book for you. And I ended up with Boy Queen by George Lester, who is a YouTuber that I love and follow. So um, I'm really excited to get to both of these. I think it's good that I only got four books, but also the fact that all of them are books I haven't read, so I'm definitely going to have to change that next month. So the next book I bought was The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. I have been hearing brilliant things about this all over the place, and because of the fact, mainly because of the fact that it wasn't gay, I was like, mm, do I really want to pick it up? But I was really intrigued by the concept. Um, this is a book where um, a girl commits suicide right at the beginning and she is then given the opportunity to see what her life would have been like if she had made different decisions and I'm just really excited to read it. I saw it in Sainsbury's for like a couple of pounds and I was like I'm gonna pick this up I'm really excited so and it's very it's a lot shorter than I thought it was gonna be and the writing is enormous so I think I'm gonna really enjoy this. So the last book that I acquired, because I didn't buy this one, is that a friend gave me Six Characters in Search of an Author by Luigi, oh dear, uh, Pirandello. Um, I'm really sorry if I butchered that, but um, trying to get into more plays. I think that this is going to be really interesting. It came very highly recommended from my friend from drama. Yeah, I think the concept sounds really fun. It's about six characters who basically as far as I'm aware like just go on stage in the middle of a play and demand to be cast or something along those lines I'm really excited to pick this up I think this also has two other plays oh yes it has Henry the Roman numerals fourth and so it is if you think so so yeah I'm excited to try out some of these I'd never heard of this author I'm not as familiar with playwrights as I am with authors in other genres like in YA so I think that this could be a really fun read. So there you have it, there's my four haul books and one unhaul for the month and hopefully I can keep up these low numbers throughout the year. I'll see you in my next video, bye!